You know, I'm just a huge kid today. Here I got asked to take Leanne Lang's spot, and I'm having the time of my life. And I just want to like kick my shoes off and play play with all those kids down in the street there. So, um, very excited to speak to Carrie Saunders today from the Canadian Toy Testing Council. Every parent's dream, your council, and. Uh, we were just talking off air. Um, you're a nonprofit organization. I would never right. have imagined that. I mean, yeah. You guys do such tremendous work. I mean, you're a real asset for parents. We're um, a nonprofit volunteer organization. It's yeah. volunteer run. Um, we are always looking for volunteers for toy testing families in this area, and um, yet we, we run as a nonprofit. That's great. So explain to me um, when you're testing a toy. How? Give me the route. Okay, you have a toy. Yeah, we have actually six copies of the toy in right. the office. That goes out to six different families. Okay. Um, those six different families test the toy for six to eight weeks in their own homes, in their own environment. Do you get them back in one piece? And then, yeah, we get them back, and we actually sell them for uh, a little bit of fundraising. Um, but they go back with a report, and uh, we then take those reports, put them together, and pick the best toys. Pick the best toys. Yeah. And how do you rate the toys? We actually have a three star rating for all of our toys. We rate them one, two, or three stars. Three star being the so great So it's like going toy. to a movie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. absolutely. And then um, from there, we take our three star toys and we pick the best of the best, the ones that the kids love, the real wows, the great toys. Yeah. Now, if I was a parent and I specifically heard about a toy and I wanted to find out its so-called rating and that, where, would I, where yep. would I find you? Where would I look for you? Go to our website, www.toy-testing.org, okay. and um, look it up in the toy report. You can download the toy report. You can download our award-winning list as well, and you can look up any toy. It's listed by age, so just look for the age you're looking for. For the age you're looking yeah, for. And you might get some great toy ideas while you're looking. And do, do like... For my for my own, well, I mean, just I'm curious. Do the major stores look to you for what's good when they're buying products, um, or is that it's hard more to say? For um, it's more mostly made for parents, uh, grandparents, anyone who's buying toys right. for their kids, and right. uh, to give them some guidance as to what is good out there. There's so many toys out there, so it well, gives them some safety guidance. is such a huge Absolutely. issue, right, with, yeah. with children and that. Yeah. I remember when I bought my house here in Ottawa and we had all those things and the plugs and you know I'm not used to having children around yeah. but I can understand yeah. the, the danger in, in toys especially yeah. right and yeah. really anything and we've so. had them in our houses so um, you know there's if safety issues come up there's a section where parents report on safety issues and then we do we go back right. to Health Canada your website must be just busting lots with Christmas of yeah with oh, Christmas yeah. Lots coming and lots of information e everybody going on there yeah. okay so let's let's go through some of the children's toys right now give us give us your 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 best of the children so these are the children's choice toys these are the best of the best um, one of the hot toys right now we have elite pad um, which is just like mom's and dad's iPad, but for the kids so they can keep their hands off your iPad. That's great. That's great. Um, I'm loving this. What is this? This is called a glow book made by Crayola, and the children draw on, on those it? clear panes. And does it wash off? And then, yeah, it washes off so they can do it again and again. And you hit this little button here, you probably won't see it in the studio okay. lights, but it lights up so it animates what they've drawn. So when your children are going after the living room wall with crayons, you hand them this you hand and them say, this. paint yeah. this. <laughs> and it actually gives them ideas on how to, um, what to draw. And oh, then great. when the lights go through it, it actually animates it in the dark. That's amazing. That's amazing. And this is this part of it that's here? The that's the box yep. for it. Okay. And I'm seeing the sneaky, snacky squirrel game. It's a really cute little game. This is for three um, plus, and we've got the little squirrel tongs. Okay. Uh, each person has a log um, right here, and the squirrel tongs, you pick up the little acorns um, from the center. You put in your log Perfect. and the, the person with the, oh, you know, the acorns all there. Well, being. we're going to talk a little bit more and we're actually going to send it off for a quick break. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Thank you.